was jealous of Adam السلام, over a religious honor. His ego manifested because he thought he was more qualified to serve Allah's deen than, than Adam السلام. He, I'm more qualified in this religious capacity. And you know this arrogance manifests itself when somebody says, I should be the president of the masjid. I'm the right MSA president. Why, is, why did they pick him? Why did they pick her for this task? Why didn't they pick me? This is a religious task. You're not going to get it. You don't get money when you become MSA president. But yet you see across this country, people fighting tooth and nail over what? Religious titles. Religi who's in charge of the masjid? Whose opinion should be heard? This is a disease that started where? <laughs> it's pretty old. That virus started with Iblis. Right? He's also for religious authority. And this, this is a disease. It's, at the heart of it, it is a disease. And one has to identify that disease if it exists inside themselves. You know, when the attitude see seeps inside you, thank God for me, because if it wasn't for me, I don't know, these people would have been so deviant. I, at least I'm here to set them straight. If that's your attitude, you've got a serious problem. Because now you think that deen depends on who? On yourself. Deen doesn't need us. We need Allah's deen, but Allah's deen is in no need of us. We're, Wallahu ghaniyun hamid. Allah is free of need. He doesn't need us. We have to humble ourselves. And this ego, again, you know, I'm talking about it in a religious context, but in another context, it even happens inside the family. If I die, who's going to take care of my family? Who's going to pay the bills? If I don't do it, who's going to do it? That, that thought comes in your mind, right? Our time of death is written. Whether you think you need to save this much money or that much money or you need to get that promotion or you know, whatever you need to do, you think what you need to do. But if Allah decides, I'm gone tonight. If it's written, it's written. And you know what? After I go, my kids, my wife, my husband, whoever, Allah has already taken care of them. Don't, I should never have thought I was the one taking care of them to begin with. I wasn't the one taking care of them. Allah was. He had been all along. I was deluding myself into thinking it depended on me. Nothing depends on me. Nothing depends on me. There, I am not the source of any good. Allah is the source of all good. That, that you know, the, when, you, when ego is the, the root problem, where does ego come from? Ego comes from the, the, the source point. The starting point is when someone doesn't truly appreciate what Allah is, who Allah is. When you don't appreciate who Allah is, you replace that with an appreciation of your own self. That's where it starts. That's really what the root of the problem is. So no, the, the first point I wanted to make really, inshallah ta'ala, is people that wear the facade of the religion. They look religious, they talk religious, they have knowledge. May Allah protect us from this. This is a very serious problem. They look more religious, the out, outwardly is very good. But on the inside there's an ego. On the inside there's an urge to show your supremacy. You are more righteous, you are more qualified. You are better, in a better position than the other. And in your heart, if you look down upon another Muslim, no matter what their condition, if you look down upon another Muslim, if you do that, then you have this thing inside your heart called kibr. Kibr. Arrogance. And you know, we learn from the, from the advice of the Prophet wasallam that the one who has a mustard seed, which is basically you're saying an atom, that much of arrogance in their heart, what is not... What is not open to them? Jannah is not open to them. Jannah is not open to them. So what I'm trying to say is, you have a Muslim who does bad things. You know, the guy drinks, whatever. He does some really bad stuff. His evil actions are outwardly. But your evil action is what? Inwardly. On the outside, you look good. You look like you're doing alright. His action is punishable for sure. For sure. You don't think yours is? And if you were to compare, even though nobody's condoning his behavior, if you were to compare, which is a bigger problem that is harder to fix? Think about that. Is arrogance a bigger problem to fix? You know what's, why it's a bigger problem? Because you can't even see it. At least his drinking problem, you could see it. There are things you could do to address it. But this problem in here, it's a hard thing to fix because it's deep down inside and the only one who can sense it is who? Yourself. Nobody can, even, nobody can tell you. It's, if it's in there, it's in there. We can't judge any of our, each other. We can't judge, oh I can, you know, while I'm giving this talk, you're listening, you're like, I can think of somebody who's pretty arrogant right now. That should be listening to this. Don't think of anyone else. That in and of, its sign, in and of itself, that's a sign of arrogance. 
Who should you be thinking of? Yourself. The, the counsel of the religion is not for anyone else first. Who is it for first? Yourself. Oh.